And we have the all clear drivers behind the lines in three, two, one, go! Welcome to match 12. This is a lower bracket match, so our winning alliance will move on. The alliance that loses will have the end of their tournament come to a close here. Let's take a look at the action in Autonomous Graffiti. Not too much motion for the Red Alliance. New Apple Corps in blue. They are docked and engaged. So that's Advantage Blue coming out of Autonomous Graffiti, though. They definitely can be moving. It does look like that arm trying to lift a cone on up for the Red Alliance. That cone, though, does fall to the playing field floor. It might be in a scored position, though, for Red. We do see their drive team talking behind the glass, maybe having a little bit of trouble controlling that 8701 green robot on the Red Alliance. Meanwhile, their Alliance partner in this match... We see them working very hard. That's Maquanados Bears. They are dropping off a game piece quickly. Their partner, Hilltopper, moving on in, dropping off a cube on the playing field floor. Graffiti still having a little bit of trouble. We see our FTA going over to take a look. Let's check out the status of the Blue Alliance grid. They've just finished off their first link. Second link now coming in. That is from Hexhounds in blue. That's the captain of this number five alliance getting that second link. Warrior Tots in blue drop off a cube on the playing field floor. Big collision between Maquanados and New Apple Corps. Both emerge unscathed, but Maquanados, they're going to go back to that Red Alliance loading zone. They're right next to their partner, Hilltopper. Both of those robots go back into the Red Alliance community. Unfortunately, the cube that Dose was holding does end up getting launched toward the Blue Alliance loading zone. So they go back to one on the carpet. They launch it toward the grid as soon as they enter the community, and an unlucky roll gets that cube back into the community but not quite in the grid for the Red Alliance, who's trailing here. But luckily, Graffiti is back in action. They are extending their arm on up. They were having some control issues before, but it looks like it's being able to be recovered. Human player does have to readjust a cone, rather. Graffiti goes toward that cone, tries to pinch their arm shut, and now they do have control of that cone to bring back to the community with 30 seconds left. Hilltopper right behind them looking for another game piece. Two Blue Alliance robots already approaching the charge station. That is new Apple Corps right alongside their captain's Hexhounds. Warrior Tots, they're now following back into that community. It looks like maybe a few nudges on the grid to make sure some hybrid nodes are scored appropriately. And they're going to join the members of their alliance. That is 30 points for the Blue Alliance. Red doing the best they can as quickly as they can here. But time expires with those robots on. Results of match 12 are here. Give it up for the Blue Alliance. 146 to 80 in match 12. That means the number five alliance wearing blue that match. They will be moving on. We will see them in match 13.